This is this is about the lesson plan, which is our lesson plan is about the teaching uh, the what we call the simple skill and complex skill to our participant. Okay, the first uh, after the participant arrive at the uh, netball court, we gonna do a netball introduction, which is talk about the netball skill, netball technique, the history of netball to the all participant. Okay, so the arrangement we will make our participants sit down uh, in front of the instructor, which is uh, the participant will face forward to the instructor and avoid from participant face to the sun. Okay, so the goal is to make sure that our participant know what skill uh, in netball that they are gonna learn today. So after the netball introduction. Uh, we do a warm up first. Uh, static warm up and dynamic warm up for ten minutes. All right. All the participants will do a stretching or warm up. Uh, first before learn the netball skill to avoid the such as the cramp or some small injuries while learning the skills. So the next one is about planning the skills. After we finish all the warm up session, uh, we explain the skills, which is the complex skill and the simple skill. Which is the simple skills is about the uh, chest pass and the shoulder pass, and for the complex skill is the uh, look away pass and catching in the run. So the instructor will divide the participant by a group to easily con conduct. Okay, we explain the skills uh, for fifty minutes, and then we move to the standing short skills, which is the activity that before we go into to the mini games. Alright, the standing short skill is we gotta do 20 minutes, uh, which is the participant will do the technique in the netball court by each group. Uh, the instructor will ob observe for each group while doing a standing short skill, which is our group, uh, the participant group. All of all of the person each in each group will gonna do the standing short skills. So before we go to the mini game we're gonna to make sure the participant practice wisely and getting comfortable with the skill which is before going through the mini game uh, make our participant try practice the skill first before going through to the mini game so the last one is a mini game which is is uh, the duration is 35 minutes so uh, in mini game we're gonna play this the circle shoot game in netball court which is uh, each group will get a point if each of the person in group make a shoot correctly and uh, in mini game we gonna make a uh, to give all the participant shows that what they have learned today and they understand or not so that is the goal for we doing our mini game so uh, in mini game uh, which is the second shoot uh, only in each group only one person uh, do a correct uh, proper shoot and success uh, they will gain one point for one person not one point for one group but one point for one person for example if a uh, four person in each group all of the person get a uh, shoot correctly they will get a four point so that is for our lesson plan History of Netball Netball was first played in England in Madame Osterberg College. In the first half of the 20th century, Netball's popularity continued to grow with the game being played in many British Commonwealth countries. 1891 American school teacher by the name of Jim Naismith invented what has become one of the most popular sports in the world, which is basketball. However, the accepted dress of 19th century women prevented them from participating in basketball in the same way men could. It is because they had troubles with movements such as dribblings and jumping. This led to female teachers putting their head together and adapting the game to allow women to participate. Today, netball is not just a sport for many, it is a passion. Worldwide, netball has become one of the biggest female-dominated team sports with over 1 million women and girls playing every week in the UK and 20 million playing in 
70 countries globally. Netball. Netball is a ball sport played by two teams which consists of seven players on each team. Games are played on rectangular court with raised gold ring at each end of the court. There are seven players in the court which the position is uh, GD which is goal defend, WD is wing defend, GK for goalkeeper, GA for goal attack, WA for wing attack, GS for goal shooter and C for center. There are 14 players uh, on the court during the game. So how the players differentiate their position is by wearing beep with letters of their positions uh, in front and at the back of their beep. Follow. Firstly, it called as footwork where the player is not allowed to move with the ball. The second rule is not more than three seconds holding the ball. When the player has the ball, the player is only allowed to hold it on to three seconds only. Third rule are contact, which a player cannot accidentally or deliberately come into contact with another player in a way which impedes their play. For example, pushing, charging, tripping, throwing their body against an opponent or using the ball to push or contact an opponent is not allowed. Next rules are obstruction where a player who trying to defend another player with the ball must be no closer than 3 feet from another player's first grounded foot. Lastly, for shootings and scoring, one goal equals to one point and only goal attack and goal shooter are allowed to shoot in the team and they must bully inside the goal circle to shoot. My name is Siti Sarato Aina Bita Kazali, so I'm from SR113 for okay, Hi, hello everyone. So today I would like to show you guys about how to perform um, chest pass in that ball. So your hand should form a W behind the ball and bring the thumbs together and widely spread the fingers comfortably. When making the pass, step forward one foot and that someone think it's their dominant leg as this will help getting energy from the floor as we push through the ball. Elbow close to the ball and push through with the ball as release the ball, straighten the arms and fingers, keep the wrist pointed upwards to help fully extend the arm. Keep the eyes on the receiver. If someone wants to catch the ball, move towards it, not away from it.
Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Nuruddin Al Abdul Rashid, and I'm gonna teach you how to do the simple skill of netball, which is shoulder pass. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the shoulder pass uh, in netball, which is uh, shoulder pass is about the simple skill in netball, which is uh, it is very dynamic. Which is shoulder pass is to pass the ball uh, to our teammate. Uh, long, uh, which is a long pass, doing a long pass in netball, and it is a very fast. Uh, we, uh, we call uh, also fast, fast, fast pass in netball. Which is I'm going to show you the the right technique. Which is the foot is uh, the left foot, for example, which your foot, which your your foot that you're comfortable. Uh, for me, is a uh, left foot. Left foot is in front, in front of me, and a back foot is behind me. All right. This is my uh, my normal hand to do something. So I'm gonna take the ball. To, for example, a netball ball. I put it behind my head. All right, behind my head. And it, as you can see, my elbow is ninety degree angle, and my left foot is in front of my right foot. So, for example, I'm gonna show you. Uh, the first, you're gonna do like this, like a uh, what we call short part, but this is a net ball. So, for example, our teammate is over there. So, you're gonna do front foot and uh, left foot is in front of the right foot, like this. For first, first, first one is uh, don't bend your knee first. Find our teammate. And then throw like that, and our my back knee is uh, bent. As you can see, I do it one more again. This is the shoulder pass technique in that ball, like this. Find your teammate and pass. Uh, if what if you gonna do a what you call follow through, do uh, like this, pass, and your hand must like this. To make sure the ball go far, go further and fast. Last one I show you the technique is about our feet, our foot is in front, the back foot. Don't don't bend our knee yet like this. And find our teammate and pass. So that's all from me for simple skill shoulder pass. Okay, for the complex skill, uh, loop away pass. A loop away pass is a film to drop a defender into guarding the incorrect target. It is also sometimes used to add style and flair to a decent play to either humiliate uh, the opponent or to accelerate the skill required. First of all, uh, pretend to release the ball direction in the direction of a teammate like this. And uh, use a normal passing motion until arm is extended. And watch and keep body aligned towards the pretend target. Now I uh, show you the example. You want to pass here, but you like this, and then and you pass. Assalamualaikum, uh, my name is Mawak Fidawish Abdul Adun Talib uh, Today uh, I want to uh, introduce you a technique uh, which is a uh, netball standing shoot For the stage 1, uh, we must uh, stand with feet uh, shoulder width apart on the ball of your feet Okay. And secondly is uh, keep the body straight and forward facing position Okay. okay, for the stage 2 is uh, place a non-shooting hand on the side of the ball and the shooting hand at the back of the ball like this, okay and fingers are slightly open as you can see uh, with the ball uh, resting in the finger uh, holding the ball height above the head okay and elbow slightly uh, flex line in the direction of the post and flex the knee and elbow, not allowing the ball drop behind your head and keep your trunk straight okay, like this okay, for the stage 3, uh, first of all, is extend the ankle, knees and elbows uh, 
secondly is flex the wrist uh, as the ball is released off the finger and straighten your leg by standing the knees at the same time as you release the ball and lastly end the shot standing on tiptoes with your arms as then and fingers pointed the ring Okay, for the mini game of netball standing shoot, uh, for the first of all is circle shoot. Uh, for the description, uh, shooter uh, spin out to circle edge and on return receive a pass. Shooter must balance shoot rebound the return ball to play one. She continues until five goal have been scored. Running to a different cone each time, then swap with the feeder. Vary the place at uh, which. The feeder stands, then introduce a defender, sudden change of direction at the cone and drive onto the ball. Okay, for the 5 passes to score, for the description, uh, the aim for player is to pass the ball amongst your teams. Team scores by successfully completing 5 consecutive passes without dropping, having the ball intercept. Uh, attack must uh, make positive move into the space and fit well ahead of the moving player. Defense put pressure on the attack board with and without the ball. Rules both goes to other team when a point is called, the ball goes out of the area or the ball is intercept. Progression uh, teams now score by passing to a player inside the shooting circle. However, players must complete 5 passes uh, before being allowed to pass to a player inside the shooting circle. If the ball is caught inside the shooting circle after passes, a point is caught.